This is the Scotland team room here in the hotel in Guildford and it's the day off for the for the players. They have a well earned rest after training earlier in the week. But the work carries on in preparation for Sunday's game. And if we come over here, we'll see the analysts hard at work, particularly Rob Hold Holdsworth here. And uh, Rob, if you can tell us just exactly what this bank of computers is and what you're doing here. Uh, this is basically the analysis station for the players. So on the laptops we have Australia's games in the World Cup, previous games in Rugby Championship, etc. So the players can can sit down, they can watch through whatever they want. We've also got every training session we've done on these computers as well. So it just gives the players the tools that they need to do their own analysis, basically. Can you give us an idea of what your working week would be? Let's say, for instance, from the uh, final whistle in the in the Samoa game, what then do you do throughout the week? Um, after the the final whistle, we'll, we'll be up most of the night and uh, put together the, the review from the Samoa game, all the individual statistics, team statistics. Um, so when the coaches wake up in the morning, they've got everything they need to crack on with their preparation for, for the week. Can you give us a flavour of the the stats that you're, you're producing? What, what particular aspects of the game are you covering and how do those stats help the, the coaches in particular? Um, well, we'd like to cover as much as possible. Um, every team is different, every team focuses on different things, different strengths, different weaknesses, different weaknesses. so um, we'll basically try and cover as much as possible. Um, that look in your face is you're not trying to give too much away there, but <laughs> give, give, give us a, a, a flavour of what particular incidents in the game that you may, you may flag up and how, how you make that available to the coaches. Well, you look at trends for, you, when you're working on your opposition, you look at, at plays that they tend to do every game. Um, so you can then build your defence sessions around those plays. Um, their key plays for scoring tries, creating line breaks, getting their key players involved in the game. Um, you'll make sure that all the players and all the coaches are aware of those plays. Just different things like that. How, how is the, the art of analysis, how has that moved on in the last couple of years or so? Um, it's moved on massively f from when I first started. When I first started, it was basically take the computer home at the weekend, do a couple of basic stats on the players and, and hand it back on the Monday morning. Um, whereas now there's, we've got two full-time full analysts with guys back home helping because there's so much stuff you can cover now. And I'm sure most other teams, the, the top tier teams especially, are the same with at least two or three analysts for each team. So that, that point about the way analysis has changed in the, in the last couple of years, how has that affected you as a player? Um, well, personally, I think it's great. Um, uh, love like the ability to go back and look at training, go over things. Um, yeah, not so much, not so much matches to be honest. Going through training, trying to improve week to week, which is a big thing. We, we focus on at Glasgow, and without having the the guys going over training, things like that, you, you can't do that. So, um, yeah, all the stuff that's going on these days is, is brilliant for players. It makes a big difference, I think. And will you go to the analysts as well if there's something that you particularly want to look at within your own game? I mean, I take it's a two-way process. It yeah, I'll be there every week when they when they give you missed tackles that you haven't missed. <laughs> yeah, you're straight over to the analysts. Nah. Um, uh, yeah, you'll, you, you, I mean, uh, Gav Vaughan, who works with us at Glasgow, like, yeah, he's a, he's, he's there to help us a lot. And you, you maybe ask if you can get someone out, maybe if you're doing a passing session, kicking session, you just get some individual stuff. Uh, they're really helpful with that sort of thing. So, yeah, you, you, you're speaking to them quite regularly. With every team carrying out analysis on each other, is there a danger that you can overanalyse the game? Or is, is it possible that you can get the edge using analysis? Yeah, I think it's similar to training. There's so many different areas you can train. You've got limited time, so you pick out the key areas. And it's the same with analysis. There's so many different things you can analyse. You've got to pick out what you think are the key areas um, for that particular game and for winning games because there's so much stuff you can do. Um, I think that's the key. With everyone doing analysis, we need to, to, to figure out what we think is key to winning games and spend our time analysing those areas.